Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the secondment. I am the Scarlet Seeker, and this is Griftlands. So we're picking up where we left off, and we're just in this bar, just sort of, just sort of hanging out. So uh, we need to uh, probably jump out to the main map because we've done that negotiation. We're at 67. We're, we're we're actually in pretty good stead. We've got like no money, but that's okay. So we'll just jump out to here. We've got this mission up here that we need to do. Rumor has it, Chake knows how to find Goni. So maybe we'll go check that out. So, oh, yep, yeah, we're going to run into trouble along the way. Oh, that music is so cool. You find a lone Spark Baron fighting off a group of fleeds. A technocratic faction who retrofit new technology from ancient ruins, much to the cult's displeasure. And fleeds, a fleed cricket, a voracious pest species found throughout Murder Bay. Right. Oh, look, it's like a Chewbacca sort of thing going on. Um, Grifter, help me. I'll make it worth your while. Well, I mean, what's going on here? Security guard, two star, and then these fleeds. Yeah, we could do that. Wait to see how it ends. No, 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 we'll, we'll help you. I've got your back. You join the fray. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gross little things. What is this? Chitness. Gain four defense at the end of their turn. Oh, okay. But only 17 health, so if we're smart about it. Hmm. Condition, first blood. Your first attack each combat deals an extra plus two bleed. So that could be handy. Okay, so as it stands, we're about to be attacked and get a status effect from... That one there. And what about this guy? Security guard Wanderer. Who's only on 19 health actually. What's this? A status effect will be applied. So we might actually try and tank the hits for this poor person. So for target priority we'll go for that one. Now, apply three defense. Absolutely. Can can I apply it to a Oh I can. That's quite interesting. Um do we think we can kill that guy in one go? I don't know about that. I will give you the defense though. That's pretty cool that I can do that. Alright. Um, gotta get this bloody tipsy out of my dick. No, that's alright, we'll just keep drinking until it becomes a real problem. You know, like real drinking. So let's have a look here. Elbow strike. Combo maybe. Two to five. Combo, combo. Accumulate until they spent by a finisher. See, does anything count as a finisher in particular? I don't think... I don't know if we've got a specific finisher, you know? Um, remove all combo at the end of your turn. No, that's okay. That's got a bleed, which we're not that worried about. I kind of just want to bust this thing down as hard as we can. Let's go. Bang. Bang. Oh, bugger. Not the, not the best hits. Now, do you attack? Okay, so you've got your own agenda going on. Whenever you deal damage, deal an additional two, two damage. That's pretty sweet. Uh, who's attacking who this time? All right, same thing again. Now, what's this I've got on me? Cripple. Attack damage by this target is reduced by a third and then reduce the cripple. Okay, so we've got a, essentially a debuff. Um, gain three defense, discard this card, gain three defense, and heal four. Nice. Oh, and it, go, it goes to me whether I like it or not. That's fine. I wanted it to. Because the hope is that we could get this guy down this turn. Bite dirty. Choose a random card. Mm. Actually, you know what? We might even apply the defense to you as well. Because this character, Wanda, Wandra, Wandra, is putting out damage as well, you know? So, two, one to three. I'm curious, what, what have we got in the dirty fighting? We got here, gain three defense. No, apply two bleed. 
Gain two combo. No, so we'll do that. Yeah, the bleed would probably be actually pretty advantageous to put on that guy. Yeah, nice. Are you going to attack or are you just going to keep jamming up? Okay. Oh, geez, that's a lot of damage coming from my, my way. Holy heck. Oh, you can see that they're going to attack. It says, like, the arrow there. Cool. Oh, eight damage. Oh, we'll receive eight damage. Uh-huh. Okay, silly me. Oh, man, this is a problem. How much to make this thing retreat? Five more damage, and at the beginning of their turn, it'll take one bleed, but it's also got four armor. Ah! Oh. Jeez, we might just, uh, you know what, we might just have to hunker down. Gonna absolutely get thrashed. Stab? What do we reckon? We'll put a stab in. Such a sooky one as well. All right, end turn. Oh, okay. Thirteen, and he will flee. Cool. Um, that's good to know, actually. Where's that damage coming from? Okay, that's fine. So we don't have to worry about that. Maybe we might be able to force that flee. Tincture. Gain one power whenever you deal damage, deal an additional. Yeah, okay. Replenish, destroy after use. Yeah, I don't. I think we're about to finish this fight, so I don't necessarily want to do that. Gain three defense, discard this card. Same thing, I don't necessarily. Let's go fight dirty. Throw dust. Apply one cripple. Alright, let's do this. How much more? Three more damage, you reckon? I, do, I don't have the damage in me, you know? Well, let's just take this moment to get rid of that. And what sort of damage is that going to go? Alright, well, we'll put a defense on you to try and mitigate that damage. Alright, end. Alright, that flees. Okay. Um, how far off is it? Three more damage. But that's also with the four defense is the other thing I, I'm not really factoring there. Two to five, not bad. Let's just get a stab in. Yeah, there you go. Two more damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, this one will do because it'll just do the two damage. Got it. All right, we get we're starting to get the swing of it. Each battle is actually a bigger thing. In these games, they are generally a little bit lighter and a little bit faster. Each of these is, um, you have to put a lot of work into each individual battle, I, I find. Um, pick and choose a battle card. We could skip it for the money. Let's see. Gain one combo for every two cards in your hand. Same thing. I don't know what constitutes a finisher. Like, I haven't seen anything with Finisher on it. Discard a card, attack a random target. So the cost to use this destroys a card, but eight damage. That's that's significant. I'm putting it in. I like it. Um, restore resolve. Nice. Thanks for the help, Grifter. Those fleets are a menace. Ask for payment. Hmm... That's a good question. No, we'll let you go without paying. I couldn't just let you die now, could I? You'd be surprised how mercenary some people are around here. Be seeing you, friend. Oh, oh, they love me. This is wonderful. And that bolsters my max resolve because they love me. That's kind of cool. Like, in a way, my, um... You know, my inner resolve, or whatever you would like to call it. My inner chi. Well, I suppose resolve's the perfect term. I'm more resolute in the knowledge that there are a lot of people that really like me for my good deeds. I kind of like it. It's a cool mechanic. Alright, we'll continue on. We got through that fairly unmolested, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Hello, GT. We only have three bucks, so there's probably no point to talk to you. So let's talk to Chake. Look at this dude. 
it takes a real devotee to Hesh. And Hesh is the cult's god of the abyss, believed to live deep under the ocean. Okay, so Hesh is a little bit cthulhu I guess. To work with the holy stuff and still find time to pray. Day to you. What are you looking at? Ask Chake about Goni. My sources tell me that you know Goni. Do you know where he is? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Either way, it doesn't seem like it's any of your business. Could bribe Chake. We could try and beat the info out of him. He is a two star. Or we could negotiate. Let's negotiate. Look, I just want to talk to him. That's all. Is that so? Alright, so he's coming at me with uh, with some intent. He has a hidden intent there. I don't know what that's going to be doing. Defensive. Gains two composure whenever a new argument is created. So that's sort of his disposition. Well, his personality. You can see the term there. Hmm. So he might be a bit of a tough nut to crack. Spend two influence to gain an action. All your cards deal maximum damage this turn. Okay. Yeah, not so much. I, I think we might just go with the old 1-2. We'll gain dominance. And we'll buy that up. Oh, wow. That could be a problem. Um, we're going to bash this dude. How is it only two? Oh, because two armor. All right, so it doesn't it doesn't telegraph. So it actually did four damage. Um, and then pure style. All your cards deal maximum damage this turn. I probably should have just. In fact, I 100% should have used. I got a little bit confused with expend. I thought it might destroy the card in its entirety. So I think we're just going to have to end the turn. Bugger. It kills me having not used all my actions. You know. All right. So what's this here? Intent will apply composure to a random argument, which is a defensive attribute. And he's got suspicion. Diplomacy cards deal minus one damage. Right. Right, so we might have to do something about that. Um, ultimately, but he's gonna try and smash that. Um, let's go quick thinking. Gain three composure. Mm. Carry over bonus action. Deploy an argument with two resolve and bait. It might even be worth doing the carry over. Because, see, he's not going to kill that. The You can't see it behind there. But he's not going to kill... Like, can we look behind or anything like that? No. It's got six hit, hit points and he's going to do four damage, right? And it's only got two turns. So it's going to tick down anyway. So the bait is only going to do so good overall. I, yeah, I think we'll do carry over. Gain one bonus action next turn. Done. And, I mean, we could put the damage in. We could go for the slurred speech, like, just to get it out of the deck. We might actually do that. We've got to do it at some point, you know. Um, in turn... So that'll take the hit, bang, but it's going to go next turn anyway. Actually, he's going to attack it because he's a, a bit of a dope, so that's fine. And, but he's got another intent coming out that we can't see. Okay. Okay. That's going to be interesting to use. We don't need the deflections. Uh, we'd, all right, we'll use this. Okay. The damage of the next card played is doubled. I like that. All right, here we go. We're going to combo that. We're going to hit him in the face for that. Four to ten. How long has this got left? Count times one. Or is that permanent? Hang on. Reduced by one at the start of your turn. Okay, so that's not going anywhere. Um, so we, we're we going to attempt to kill that. 
good. Oh, and it tramples. I forget about that. That it has a trample mechanic. Which is pretty awesome, actually. We need to really try and remember that. And this one we could play for free, no worries. Um, because we don't have any influence. Okay, in turn. Nice. So he's going to smash that, but that's that was to be expected. Oh, the trample. Again with the trample. I need to pay more attention to that. Okay, that's fine. Now what we got here? Bone tired. When destroyed, he loses six resolve. So we want to destroy that ASAP. Uh, he's two turns. That's going to come out. Um. Let's see what quick thinking gets us. Two composure to a random friendly argument. Incept one flustered. Reduces resolve damage by 33%. I think we'll do that actually. So we'll get him flustered. So yeah, that's got the I think that's running one less. Um Inspiration. Yeah, look, we'll get some inspiration actually. Or influence, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, and it does two damage. I still forget this every time. Perfect, because we need to do that. Boom, big hit on him. Uh, we could spend the two influence, but we actually need them. Well, we want to keep we want to keep them, so. Um, what's this? Oh, that's the flustered. That's okay, cool. Not bad. We're doing all right. Keeping it together. Uh, we should be able to lethal him this turn, especially with the influence. Let's just... Is there any anything that we want to not use? Look, I guess, like, not to be greedy, but you, every time you use something, you get an upgrade point. So is there a way that we can get three cards out? You know what, if we go... Oh, this one's already upgraded as well, remember. Okay, so let's say we go... Fast Talk. Then Style. Then Fast Talk. Perfect. Pick a new card. Hmm. Calling in all favours. Double your influence. At the end of your turn, set influence to one. So you could use it if you had zero as well. Gain two influence, but that would arguably be better then. Your next card this turn costs zero actions. Oh, non sequitur. That's interesting. I like that. Yeah. That's essentially giving us access to more action points in a way. Um, let me tell you something. Oh, I don't have the energy for this. Goni is hiding... <laughs> Goni is hiding out at a campsite. I'll show you the way. See? That wasn't so hard. Nice. This game is really growing on me. Okay. Um, we didn't get any money out of that. We're, our resolve's good. We're, yep, yeah, we're, we're, we're going quite well, so we'll just keep plodding along, I think. No need to go home at this point. Um, so let's just head down, continue the mission. See if we get there unmolested. We did. Very good. Uh, you find Goni's camp. Uh, did Ash, so I guess you're Goni. Did Ash send you? I'm not afraid of him. He did. Ask me to get you to come back. And why would I do that? What's his resolve like? We're, we're in pretty good stead. You are the aggressor. See, I think that makes a difference as well. If people know that you go around bashing people's heads. But uh, look, we've still got a lot of resolve, so I think we try and convince him. Look, Ash just wants to talk. He's willing to look past this. You expect me to believe that? I do, actually. Alright, so he's got two intents coming hard. Uh, let's have a look here. Non sequitur is not going to do us any good because we all have one values. Um, we've only really got 
attacks. And none of that will affect that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this out. We're going to get dominance. We're, using, we're, we're building a dominance deck by the look of it by accident. We'll do this one as well because this will generate more dominance as part of its upgrade. Bang, cool. So it just stacks on. And this will hit even harder. Wow, we're just going to come out swinging. This is a lot of value to building into dominance or influence by the look of it. So let's see. Um, an unknown argument. We'll see what that does. Um, pure style. Spin to influence. So you can't spend that without anything. Mm, it's a bit of a shame. Improvise a card. We're going to do that because we might be able to turn out a dominance card. We didn't. That's all right. Draw two cards. Interesting. Gain three composure. Also very interesting. Like I don't want to be too defensive, but I believe he was going to do three damage. As much as we could really use the two draw, we've still got stuff that we can... Actually, no, we've look at that. We've got a deflection there anyway. I didn't even pay attention to that. Observation, zero to four damage. Mm, no, here we go. We'll do the draw. I want to draw two. Evil Eye. Do double damage. Uh, um, all your cards do maximum damage. That might be the... I think that's the smarter play. Um, hang on. Do we have lethal potentially? Oh. Three, six, and even if one of them did double, it'd be nine. We actually don't. So to be perfectly honest, for all the maneuvering and all that, the smart money here is to take some composure. Um, and we'll make the most of all your cards do maximum damage. And so we'll use plead. I think that's probably the smartest, smartest move that we had there. You get all, you actually get a lot of options. It's not always one right decision, which I quite like. So what's this escalation? I think increase count when a hostile card is played, and it adds plus one damage to all intents. So we we need to, we need to try and smash him immediately. Um, damage next card is doubled. Six. It still wouldn't be enough. Let's draw three cards. Let's hope for some dominance. Here we go. This is what we want. This is what we really want, actually. One, two, three. Um, you know what we're going to do? No, we're not. Uh, I want to get the dominance. So we'll do this. Right. And then, oh, no, we can't guarantee the double. Because oh, I, I, I thought we had one more point. All right. I'm going to roll the... the dice here. It's a bit of a... It's more than likely that this will work, but we'll see. Got it. Cool. Bit of a risk, but such is life. Okay, what have we got here? Good, I want more red cards. Uh, oppress. If this card dismisses an argument, gain one dominance. Oh, that's pretty cool. Attack a random argument. Evoke. Oh, right, we were looking at this. Play four hostile cards in a single turn. Play this card from your hand or draw pile. Oh, play this card from your hand or draw pile. For free. That's, a, that's such a cool card, but I don't think our deck is sort of jacked enough at the moment that we could get four hostile cards out. And Veiled Anger, what do we got here? It's a zero cost... I think I'll take that one, actually. Just having a zero cost is pretty big. All right, so we'll upgrade this. This is going to be interesting. So we have to pick... Oh, wow, so she has to pick a leaning, basically. Uh, I think we're going to go for this anyway. Look at that. I'm, I'm not... To be honest, I'm not even going to uh I'm not even gonna read it because I just want I just want red at the moment. What's this up here? One card ready to upgrade. 
Oh, there's another one ready to upgrade. Okay, cool. Upgrade. Right. So, so draw a card is the other option. Oh, hang on. This is different from the last time we upgrade because one of them was play it twice and the other one was add... I thought they were two fixed upgrades, but there's an upgrade pool that it's drawing from. My goodness, that's really good. Play this card twice or draw a card. That's tough. I really like them both because if we're doing some good dominant synergy... Nah, we'll do this. Play a card twice. I really like that. That's sweet. Okay. Close. Um, you want some? <laughs> hmm, Ash was always the reasonable one. Exactly. Everything will be fine. Goni dislikes me. Well, well, I mean, I could have bashed his head in and I didn't do that. So that, you know. Is that the end of this? Get reward from Ash. Okay. Yep, so return to Ash. There we go. Um, there he is there. Hello, Cell. Return Goni to Ash. Yep. You got him. We'll take care of things from here. Here's the payment as discussed. Thank you very much. You got paid 70 shills. Was that what we discussed? I hope so. Now, I could remove a negotiation card or a battle card. I think we'll do the negotiation. So what do we do here? What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Oh, I suppose I could just do the slurred speech one, right? That probably makes sense now. That's probably, yeah, that's the least value card in a deck. Now, granted, I, it has a mechanic that I can remove it in combat. <sighs> Maybe I should... Well, that's the option, isn't it? Do I actually not use it now? Because it seems like a waste for a removal. Yeah, right, I'm going to have to make more of an effort to get rid of that during actual combat. So I'm going to get rid of these one of these Composure Defense ones. I don't really want one of them. But um, how many have we got? It's just the two. Wow, they're both ready to level up. Okay, let's get rid of that. Cool. As you walk away, you hear the first punch land. Oh, they're bashing him. Rough. Poor, poor Goni. We've signed him up to a pretty rough fate. Poor bugger. Well, what's this? Fish has a special job for you. And then we've got these uh, sort of side things that we can do. Your friend Ferdinand has a gift for you. Oh, that's cool. So having friends is so helpful. This game is really original. It's taken some fundamentals that we're used to, but it's actually, it's not just reskinned them and put its own little twist on it. It's actually really changed it. And I think this is phenomenal. It took me a little while to get my head around it, but God, this is so clever. I'm very happy with it. But team, that's probably enough for the time being. So we're going to have to finish up. We will leave it there. Let me know what you think. Comments and all that. I appreciate all the feedback. Or even check out the other channel. Um, and I will catch you on the next one.